Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. I have the cutest little album for you guys. Kind of same concept of our previous tutorial, but just a little different. And it's so sweet. I'm going to be using my fancy pants today and some of my cocoa dyes. Um, I forgot to mention this on my stories, but um, Mommy and Me created her YouTube channel, created this adorable little love letter cutting die set. And it's so sweet. I'm just obsessed with all the little um, pieces to it. So I'm going to be using that and implementing it inside of my album today. So it's just a little mini and I feel like it's been a while since we did something kind of tiny and well, it's not too tiny though, because you know, as you can see, it's like this almost the size of my hand, but simple album, kind of like an older one page wonder, but with some additions to it. And we're going to just be using to look at this little mailbox. You guys, it has a little slit and you put like a little letter or whatever you want in there. But, um, it has, uh, it's just using two six by eight papers. So using up those six by eight paper pads and you can see there's lots of little fun flips and pockets and it's very simple. All right. So grab two six by eight papers. All right. And let's we're going to score them a little different though and cut them a little different well one of them we're going to cut no actually we're going to cut both of them <laughs> okay so the six by eight paper at the let's do this side first at the eight inch side let's score it at four inches and then then at the turn your paper around and we're at the six inch side we're going to score it at um three inches All right, so that's just gonna leave us with four boxes. And the first section I'm gonna be doing is kind of an older tutorial, um, but we're gonna just take it and slice one little score right here. So I guess it just depends whatever side your paper's on, but so like this is your six and this is your eight side. I'm just gonna do it right here on your eight inch side. All right, and some of you may remember this, but you're just going to really just fold that down. Actually, I'm gonna fold mine this way because I want this to be my inside. So it depends whatever side you want your paper to be, but I'm gonna use this as the cover. So my slit's gonna be over here on the left. I'm just folding it back. Okay, just fold it back. And then I'm just doing this. That's going to be our front cover. And then this is going to be our back cover. So this is a very old tutorial, but I love this one. And um, basically, we're just going to glue that. So add some glue right here. And... I promise you guys, every time before I film, I do <laughs> clog this, but it just clogs up on me by the time I get to the sit down and film. Okay, and then just close that up so we have that little pocket. And if you're a newbie here and you've never done this, you can absolutely leave this just like this. And it can be just an album. Um, of course, you want paper that's a little forgiving, like some of my prints upside down, but I have other pages kind of inserting in here. That's why it's not really a big deal. Um, but you can see how we got our pocket there. And I'm going to take my little punch and I'm going to just make a little notch here so you know there's a pocket there. Okay, so that's like the first little section done. Now we're gonna take our second sheet of um, our six by eight. Okay, this is our second sheet. So I have a couple steps here. And I want you to be able to see this so you can see how this turns into our little album. So we're going to take our six by eight and we're gonna cut at the eight inch. We're gonna basically make this a four by six. Okay, so at your eight inch side of your six by eight paper, cut it at the four inch. So it's basically directly in half. Okay, just like that. And, um, okay, so 
one of these, okay, one of these is gonna be in the back, one is gonna show this first little piece right here. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna say side one. We're going to um, cut off two inches from this and it's gonna make a four by four. And we're using all of this, so we're gonna use all of this in our own. So just taking that and this is gonna basically be our six inch side and cut off two inches. So you have a four by four and this. This is gonna be like our little belly band. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let's start with that so you can see what's going on here. This is going to be our front piece right here. So what we're gonna do is just leave this one aside, the other half that we did. Um, let me grab the scoreboard. We're gonna take that little four by four and just score it at one inch. So it's gonna be scored at one inch right here. And that's gonna be that right there. And this is just gonna be our little front pocket right here. So can you see what I did here? And we're just gonna like, just take a little thumb notch right here and pop that on there. So that's our first little page. So grab your album that we just did and we're going to pop that on here. And we're gonna just make a little pocket. So I'm kind of taking ideas that we did with our previous album and just adding it into this cute little album. And just some fun ways that, you know, we can use up that six by eight paper too. Cause I know we all get stumped on that. And this album really is adorable. I'm having a really good time making this. So I'm just gonna, don't remember that's your pocket. So I does not want to cooperate today. I just unclogged it because I, again, I have that habit of not putting my pin on when I should. So we're going to glue right here. And okay, a little sloppy, sorry guys, you guys know how I am. And then just, this is our front cover right here and we're going to pop it on this way. So we have that first little page right there. Isn't it gorgeous, this paper is gorgeous. And um, now you're probably wondering where this little piece comes from that we cut off. So if you kind of flip through this, so we put it on of course you can put it anywhere you want, but I put mine because I had that extra piece and I was like, we gotta use it. So I wanted to cover this upside down print. So I added a belly band there. Now, if you don't want a belly band there, you can just like glue it on just for some pretty, you know, paper, just make it look like it's part of the paper. But I'm just gonna glue right here and here and create this little belly band right here. So you have that little loop inside. So we can tuck things in. Okay, and we are almost done with this, it's not putting it together anyway. So now we're doing our little back piece here. So as you can see, grab our second half of that paper. And this is simple. Okay, so I did mine, just so you see it, because I want you to see how your flip's gonna be for your paper. I did mine like that. So just kind of know which way your paper is gonna be scored. So I have to remember this too, actually. Um, let me see here, because I wanna keep it, I wanna keep this paper facing up. So we're gonna be scoring this, no cutting, just scoring. We're going to be scoring this at, <clears throat> sorry, the six inch side at two and five inches. So this is gonna be the two inch flap right there. So two inches and five inches is gonna be this little pocket right here. So I figured this is a good way so you don't ruin your paper because it can be a little confusing because if you don't wanna use this side, then it's gonna be the wrong score. Okay, and that is just gonna be flipped this way and this is gonna be flipped this way. And we're going to just add a little thumb notch right there. I was trying to film this a little bit earlier and then the rain started coming in and I had the worst 
like shadow in here and I was like no I need this room to be it's not sunny but I needed I wanted it to be a little bit lighter for the floral it had to look a little spring <laughs> okay so I'm going to just glue right there you see just to keep that pocket open and I'm gonna lay it down right here and the, can you believe this is only two six by six six by eight papers no one would ever like know how you built this and how you used it up so you should have your little front you got your little center pocket here you've got this little belly band right here and you have your little flap and then that little extra pocket so sweet all right and now let's just go through and kind of decorate I'll show you kind of what I did I'm just going to grab now this album is so petite I didn't want to use anything too crazy you know like because it's just so small <clears throat> but um, that's why I love the cocoa dies because I feel like they are just so dainty these little strings on a heart are just like the sweetest things so let me get some of these little pieces out that I didn't do before so you see the little ribbons are so cute. Of course you don't have to do this, but I mean, look at how much it makes the album come to life when you add a little bit of glitter in there. But it also looks really nice just like this. I had contemplated, I'm like, hmm, do I make it? I'm like, okay, I told them in the beginning of the new year, I was gonna try to embellish more. So I'm gonna keep my promise and do that. And I do wanna make an embellishment video or like maybe a scrap video really soon. Cause I've got a lot of like scrappy things going on here. So I just put it that way. And I'm just gonna grab maybe, I don't know if this is gonna fit, let's see. Kinda just improvising here. And then right here, I'm just gonna add a sticker from this kit can get it off without tearing it. I like this butterfly. And put that right there. And then we can turn our page. And I really just, you know, added stickers and stuff. Tried to make this really just easy breezy, especially for the weekend. I'm just gonna add a little butterfly here. If I can get that piece off. So I have some major, major spring fever going on, but the weather is just up and down. Okay, and then you see I added the little key right there with just some stickers. So I guess I can do that again. I'm gonna grab that key and just put like a little sticker by it. Hmm, I should have done the sticker first. <laughs> Here, let me find one. Actually, I'm just going to put it down because I kind of messed up. Or else the glue will dry. Um, and I'm just using this sticker sheet, by the way. I'm just doing it off camera because it's easier for me to take them off. Um, actually, I do not want that one there. I want something a little bit more dainty. And I shouldn't have put my key on because I wanted to stack it. But... I'm just going to put that there. No big deal. And then I'm just going to stick something in the side pocket just so you can see that there is one. Right here. It should be something bigger, but that's all right. And then we've got the little belly band here, which is so pretty. The print is just everything. So on my little mailbox cutout, there was a little heart. And that's what I put down here. I love when the dies have these little pieces that you can just add. Okay, and then for this, all I did was really just to give it something. I just took this vellum here and just kind of folded the top and I just put it on here. So this is about two inches. So you'll just want like a two inch piece of vellum. And then I just added this on there because I thought it looked pretty here. 
but I also thought it was pretty when you open the page because you have that there. And then we've got our mailbox with our little slot, which is adorable. You could even, um, if you want to make it extra, you can just glue this part so that you could actually tuck something here and in there. So I'm going to just put that there. And I sure wish I had a little die like that again, but I didn't even think that far ahead. Hmm, I guess I can just put something like that there. And this is gonna have to use tape because of the cardstock. So I'm just grabbing some double-sided tape and just putting that on there. Just like a little strip. And what I mean for that is the mailbox part is, hold on, let me find something that will kind of go back there. I've got tape on my finger, you guys, and glue. So here is that. So we left that little slot open so you can really tuck something deep in the back down there, um, as well as the little letter if you want that in there too. And then, I feel like I've said that this whole time, sorry. <laughs> and we've got this, which I put the little lock right here. I'm just gonna add that there because it was kind of a plain page. And then I'm gonna add some more of those little string hearts right here. It's very rare I do an album almost identical, but somehow it like because of the um, fancy pants papers because it does have a lot of duplicates I'm able to do that and I love that because like I said usually if I get a paper pad I have to really pick and choose my my papers for the tutorial and but it's nice because it gives a different look too but I think sometimes people may want to see it kind of the same so okay and there's that and I'm just gonna add something on the side just to show you that there's a pocket here so here we go adorable easy fun I really really like this oh I didn't put something here but this is really just the perfect here so you can see the belly band just kind of go through for a newbie it's just a little band that kind of just you know you can add some tuck-ins in there I'm trying to find something that's normal to go in there and then we've got this and you have your little slot of course you could add little extra pockets in here whatever you want but that is it you guys a fun little weekend project I hope you like this one I just really really love this album I thought it was really sweet all right guys thanks so much